our next guest is an actress and a comedian who grew up right here in Chicago. You may know her. Jaitel, you know her from Night Court. Please welcome, for the first time to this show, Marsha Warfield. Hi. So when you hear that music coming on, what do you think? The lyrics. I, they, you know, they actually were lyrics to that oh. song. Yeah. Really? They, Can you sing it? Night Court. <laughs> Night Court. <laughs> Nah, it, it, it's easy to learn. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So many people watch that show, and a lot of people didn't realize that you went to Calumet High School. You're from Chicago, yes, representing our city. How special is that for you? I love, I love uh, being from Chicago. I love Chicago. This is my home. I was born in a hospital that ain't there no more. St. <laughs> Luke Presbyterian. Luke. Mm. Hey, hey. <laughs> were you there that day? <laughs> And uh, I went to a high school that's not there anymore. <laughs> yeah. I had a tendency yeah. to, I just killed off all the places. There. Right. Do you get back to town often? I haven't been in a long time. You know, I retired for a while and uh, I just started back working, doing stand up again a couple of years ago. And so I'm just now getting back out on the road. And, and uh, fortunately, Zanies was having its 40th uh, anniversary and uh, it kind of just worked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how long were you retired? I was retired for almost uh, 20 years. Wow. What made you come out of retirement? I love, I love show business. I love stand up. I love do it, performing in front of people. Yeah. Uh, you know, as long as I have breath. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to keep on trying now, to do it. Marsha, did you come out of retirement because now you have so much good material to talk about in the current climate? <laughs> well, it helps, but I'm a whole different person than I was then. Uh, you know, I, I was... Um, I was a young, straight woman. Now I'm an old gay lady, so... <laughs> <laughs> I read an article about you, and, and you, your mother knew yes. all along, but your mother told you something. What did she say to you? Well, she just asked me not to come out while she was alive. Right. Yeah. And, and was that <laughs> tough to take? Well, at the time, you don't realize it, you know, but as you get older and you think about it, you know, that's a... It's just sad that uh, she wasn't the only mother to say that, and she never turned her back, and she never did like a lot of kids. A lot of people go through really terrible things when they come out and that's not fair it's still your child and uh, Would you, you say made it was them cultural there's some culture we're still uh, in the black community living in a don't ask don't tell mm -hmm. uh, kind of mentality and i think it's about time to bust that door right open but uh, yeah. mm -hmm. amen to that but uh, i think if as long as now i have the platform i'm going to keep trying to push that envelope and push for that acceptance and just, you know, love people. They don't, they're no different most of the time. Only when they're uh, uh, shedding uh, <laughs> 10 grams skin of skin in their nasty <laughs> on the bed. That's the only time they're different than you. Well, you've worked with some iconic comedians, including Richard Pryor, oh, and yes. then this story happened today. Right. Uh, what was your reaction to that? Did you, did you know? Because Richard apparently was open with his friends that he kind of went both ways. Richard was open with everybody. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he never, he never pretended to be anything that he wasn't. Um, I just read a, a post on, uh, on Facebook, uh, Rain Pryor, who I've known since she was a tiny little girl, uh, says that, yes, her father was very open, but that he did not have uh, a relationship with Brando. Oh, Whether really? he did or not, right. that I, you know, don't care. I, mm -hmm. if, you know, I would like, if they did, I would like pictures. You want, <laughs> you want a picture book. <laughs> you want you from I don't care to I want pictures. <laughs> How was it working with him? I mean, oh, the king, the king of comedy. That was awesome. I mean, I was, a, I was a kid. I was like 22, 23 years old, and uh, just being in his orbit and learning from him. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Richard yeah. Pryor yeah. show. And uh, just stuff. being able to do that. I had, we did no rehearsal for that. That was the first take on the first uh, uh, show at, in front of the audience. Yeah. And we just made it up as we went along. And they, <laughs> and they loved it. <laughs> what are you doing? Did you, uh, 
<laughs> Would you say that he had a lot of influence on your comedy today? <laughs> oh, he had a lot of influence on comedy, period. Yeah, but right. you in specific, did you take but inspiration from him or somebody else? I took inspiration from everyone, but being able to learn from him, yes. I was just telling a friend that, uh, who you know who was a, a big influence? Who? Della Reese. Oh, yeah. yeah. I could yeah. see that. Della was very strong. She was very funny. She was, I can't sing, but uh, she was a wonderful yeah. singer and a great performer and all around talent. She had talk shows. She had, she was on Chico and the Man. She was yeah. just, uh, I think, one of the most talented, most underrated, mm. beautiful people. And if I could ever have half the career, mm. uh, Edna, may she rest in peace. Yeah. All right. We just had Jesse Tyler Ferguson on. Of course, he's in an iconic show. You were in an iconic show that people remember, and it brings two. up good, yeah. two, right? Yeah. Emptiness, Richard Mulligan, yeah. all of that was a uh, great. Uh, Absolutely. Yes, yes. And what's it like now for the fans to, to have such good memories when they watch those shows and even see them on reruns and all of that? Well, you know, it's nice. I, I get a lot of times I get uh, you're uh, I, I, you're my mother's favorite comedian. I get that a lot. Uh, and a lot of people though tell me that they watched with their parent mm -hmm. and that uh, their parents are no longer with us mm -hmm. and that uh, being having that memory uh, kind of warms them uh -huh. and, yeah, yeah. and comforts them. And that's a great, great uh, compliment, great testament. Uh, and I, you know, if I used to always say, I've had the kind of career that if I did have to retire, I got no kick coming. I got no complaints. I've, I've been very blessed. Yeah. Mm. Thank yeah. you so much, Marsha. Yeah, we're lucky to have you here. Good luck at Zany's this weekend, too, by the way. Yes, you. Marsha will be performing at Zany's through the weekend. For ticket info, go to WindyCityLive.com.